I am a small town kid uh, from Kansas. I grew up in uh, Oxford, Kansas, population of uh, about 1,200 people counting the, the, the chickens and the cows. We had one blinking light. Um, my graduating class uh, was 32. We had 32 in my senior class when we graduated. Uh, but great, great place to grow up. I uh, was really fortunate to play basketball for Jim Littell, who is the head women's basketball coach at Oklahoma State. Um, he's a great coach. Um, just had a really great experience. My dad was an elementary teacher. Uh, both my parents drove the school bus. Um, very family oriented community. And, uh, and I've got lifetime friendships from there. Well, I remember uh, in fifth grade uh, playing on the first little travel team uh, when I was a fifth grader. And, uh, and that was fun. In sixth grade, did the same thing and then just was always going to the games. Um, the high school football coach, um, after the high school games, I wasn't in high school, but after the high school games, it was always funny, after the high school game went in, I'd always go down and he'd always bet me if I made so many free throws out of so many that you know he'd go buy me a Snicker candy bar and just little things like that that uh, I just loved the game, loved it. I think my dad being a teacher, um, you know, I, I education was really instilled. He was he was a very good teacher. Um, spent a lot of time at the school with him when he was grading papers and and then I just loved sports. I mean I played volleyball, was on the track and field team, uh, played softball, just very involved in athletics and um, so I knew I wanted to be a teacher, knew I wanted to be a coach and I really can't tell you the day I decided. Uh, I just knew it was what I was supposed to do and, and wanted to do. I was fortunate uh, that uh, you know, UTEP offered me the job, and uh, I came down here, you know, with the vision of uh, trying to, you know, build the program and and trying to, you know, get it going. And um, great opportunity. I've always been a believer that you know, hard work pays off. When you work hard, good things happen. Uh, and the thing that we've tried to do with our players is, you know, just really come out and work hard on a consistent basis. Um, I think that consistency is something that. Uh, is you know uh, makes a big difference. The more consistent you are and, and you form good habits, you practice hard, you do things right on a daily basis, um, then it sets things up for you to be successful. You know, I try to push our players. I think in practice, I'm extremely intense. Um, you know, I like to I like to push them, and I want I want for them to um, get better each day. Um, you know, I really respect the game. We really talk about respecting the game because the game's being so good to us. Um, and so, you know, I don't, I don't accept coming out and going through the motions. Um, you know, you really need to bring it every day. The great thing about UTEP is, you know, this is a great job and this is a great situation. I have, I have a great job and, and I'm very thankful and very appreciative of it. Um, you know, Mr. Stoll and the president, they have, uh, They've definitely stepped up to the plate and, and made strong commitment to our women's basketball program. They've been very good to me. Um, the support that I have here in, in El Paso is amazing. Um, our fans are, are very, very appreciative. And so, you know, for me, I, I, I get to come to this office and we have our own basketball court. We have a great facility. And uh, so it's a, it's a great situation. Yeah. I'm an El Pasoan, you know, and, and when I, you know, when I go out and recruit, I'm an El Paso, and, and uh, you know, and I'm I'm proud to be from El Paso, and I'm very proud of the people here in El Paso. Probably the biggest message I want to say to El Paso is that I'm back, so I'm asking our fans to come back and for us to continue to support one another. Uh, we have a lot of new players, we have a lot of young faces, so we're in a in a in a, a new team mode, um, and we've got a lot lot to learn and a lot to build off of and uh, that support's gonna help us through it.